Hi everybody, this is Paul Malden with Transmission and Distribution World, and I'm here with Peter Grossman, and uh, what is your title? I'm the Director of Technology and Quality for Transmission Solutions, located in Cary, North Carolina, and with Siemens Energy. I'm glad you said it, because I don't think I could have remembered it. But we got all excited when we heard about your uh, the, the largest GIS gas-insulated substation project around. This is the largest substation in North America. It has 230 kV and a braking capability of 80 kA and has 31 breaker positions that you can see here. And we're, we're interested, uh, everybody's interested in, in protection from terrorist activities. And so tell us why GIS is important for that. GIS provides a very high security level based on the fact that all the parts on the high voltage are enclosed in metal housing, so that is a protection already. Typically, those GS substations are located inside buildings. So if you look from above, you don't see a high voltage substation, you just look on a building. Let me put you on the spot. So if you're gonna go from a, just an open air, not GIS substation, to an enclosed 230 GIS substation, what would be the differential in cost, percentage-wise? Well, if you speak about the equipment itself, the GS equipment is maybe double as expensive as an air insulated substation. On the other hand, you save up to 80% of the space that you would need to a comparable air insulated switchgear. So that save of space also needs to be taken into consideration. And if you take the life cycle time, taking into consideration that a GS takes much less maintenance and less outages, you may find a break-even point in the life cycle time showing that the GS can even be less expensive than an AIS substation. And the lifetime expectation of a gas-insulated substation is 50-plus years. Thank you very much. And it may well be with the fear of terrorism, we'd be willing to pay the difference. All right. Well, maybe. 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 All right. Thank you very much, Peter. You're this very is welcome. This is Paul Malden with Transmission and Distribution World Magazine at the IEEE conference in Chicago.